Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve the Fairy noise algebra equation. 9 plus 1 over x whole to the power 4 minus 7 plus 1 over x whole to the power 4 is equal to 1040. We need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start. This 9, 9 can be written as 8 plus 1. And this 7, 7 can be written as 8 minus 1. So, we can write this equation as 8 plus 1 over x plus 1 whole to the power 4 minus 8 plus 1 over x minus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to 1040. Now, here we have 8 plus 1 over x, and here we have 8 plus 1 over x. So, we suppose that let 8 plus 1 over x is equal to m. So, this equation will become m plus 1 whole to the power 4 minus m minus 1 whole to the power 4 is equal to 1 0 4 0. Now, this m plus 1 whole to the power 4 can be written as m plus 1 whole squared and whole to the power 2 minus in the same way this uh, m minus 1 whole to the power 4 can be written as m minus 1 whole squared whole to the power 2 is equal to 1 0 4 0. Now, by using this uh, algebraic identity a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. This m plus 1 whole squared will become m squared plus 1 plus 2m whole to the power this power 2 minus by using this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. This m minus 1 whole squared will become m squared plus 1 minus 2 times m whole to the power this power 2 is equal to 1040. Now, here we have m squared plus 1 and here we have m squared plus 1 and here we have 2m, here we have 2m. So, we suppose that let a is equal to m squared plus 1 and b is equal to 2 times m. So, this equation will become a plus b whole squared minus this will become a minus b whole squared is equal to 1040. Now, this a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared plus 2ab minus this a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ab is equal to 1040. Now, we remove the brackets then this will become a squared plus b squared plus 2ab minus a squared minus b squared plus 2ab is equal to 1040. 
now this a squared will be cancelled out with this negative a squared and this b squared will be cancelled out with this negative b squared and this 2ab plus this 2ab will become 4 times ab is equal to this 1040. Now we divide both sides by 4. So this 4 get cancelled with this 4. And at left hand side we are left with a times b is equal to 1040 divided by 4 will become 260. Now we replace this a with this m squared plus 1 we replace this b with this 2 times n. So, this will become m squared plus 1 times 2 times n is equal to 260. Now, 2m times m squared will become 2m cubed plus 2m times 1, 2m is equal to 260. From here we can factor out 2, 2 as common factor and in bracket left m cubed plus m is equal to 260. From here we divide both sides by 2. So this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2. And uh, at left hand side we are left with m cubed plus m is equal to 260 divided by 2 will become 130. Now we move this uh, 130 to the left hand side then this equation will become m cubed plus m minus 130 is equal to 0. Next m cubed plus m. This negative 130 can be written as a negative 125 minus 5 is equal to 0. Now, because this uh, 125, 125 is equal to 5 cubed. So, we write this uh, 125 with this m cubed and we write this negative 5 with this m. So, this equation will become m cubed minus 125 plus m minus 5 is equal to 0. Next, m cubed minus this 125 can be written as 5 cubed plus this m minus 5 is equal to 0. Now, here we have difference of uh, 2 cubes. So, by using this algebraic identity, a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus uh, a b plus b squared. This uh, m cubed minus 5 cubed will become m minus 5 times m squared plus uh, 5 times m plus uh, 5 squared are 25 and from these two terms uh, we can factor out plus 1 in bracket left uh, m minus 5 is equal to 0. Now this expression m minus 5 this expression m minus 5 is common so we factor out this m minus 5 and uh, in bracket left uh, in bracket left this uh, m squared plus m plus 25 and this plus 1 in bracket left uh, m squared plus uh, 5 times m plus 25 plus 1 is equal to 0 next m minus 5 times m squared plus uh, 5 times m this 25 plus 1 will become 26 is equal to 0 
And from here, either this expression m minus 5 is equal to 0, or this expression m squared plus uh, 5 times m plus uh, 26 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of m is equal to 5. And from this uh, quadratic equation, we get the value of m is equal to negative value of b is 5 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write 5 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write 26 divided by 2 times in place of a we write 1 next m is equal to negative 5 plus or minus square root of this 5 squared is 25 and negative 4 times 1 times 26 is uh, negative 104 and 25 minus uh, 104 will become negative 7 9 divided by this 2 times 1 2 and this can be written as a negative 5 plus or minus square root of 79 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2. Next, m is equal to negative 5 plus or minus square root of 79. This is square root of negative 1 is equal to i divided by 2. In the first we found the value of m 5 m is equal to 5. Now to find the values of x, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that 8 plus 1 over x is equal to m. We have supposed that 8 plus 1 over x is equal to m. So when m is equal to 5, then this equation will become 8 plus 1 over x is equal to 5. Move this 8 to the right hand side and this will become 1 over x is equal to 5 minus 8 and 1 over x is equal to negative 3. If we take a reciprocal on both sides, this implies that uh, x is equal to negative 1 over 3. This is the first value of x. This is the first solution of uh, this equation. Now to find uh, other two solutions, uh, in this equation we put this value of m negative 5 plus minus root 79 i over 2. So this will become 8 plus 1 over x is equal to negative 5 plus minus root 79 i over 2. Move this h to the right hand side and this will become 1 over x is equal to negative 5 plus or minus square root of 79 i over 2 minus 8. Next, 1 over x is equal to, we can write the denominator of this at 1. And we take LCM of this 1 and 2, the LCM is 2. And this negative 5 plus minus root 79 i will come here, negative 5 plus minus root 79 i minus 2 divided by this one is 2 and 2 times 8 will become 16. Next, 1 over x is equal to this negative 5 and negative 16 will become negative 21 plus minus root 79 times i divided by 2. And if we take a reciprocal on both sides, this implies that uh, x is equal to 2 divided by negative 21 
plus minus root 79i. This is the second and third value of x. So we have three solutions of this equation.